Just get into TCS, Infosys or HCL and your life is set. How many times have we heard our parents or relatives say this? But is landing a job at this IT Jane's really the ultimate career goal or is it just the beginning of a whole new set of challenges? Today I'm going to break down the myths and realities of working at India's top tech companies from salaries that sound too good to be true to work cultures that might surprise you. I'm going to cover everything to give you a 360 degree view of how it's like to work at these popular tech companies in India. Now let's start by getting to know our top 3 IT companies. TCS, the oldest of the bunch, has been around since 1968 and now has over 6 lakh employees. That's like having the entire population of a small city working for one company. Infosys started later in 1981 and now has about 3 lakh people working for them. HCL, which began in 1976, has around 2 lakh employees. Now let's talk about what everyone's really interested in the salary for freshers tcs offers around 3.5 lakhs per year infosys goes a bit higher with 3.6 lakhs while hcl offers the most at 3.8 lakhs but here's something interesting according to glassdoor when you look at salaries for all levels hcl actually pays the most with an average of 8.5 lakhs infosys comes next at 7.9 lakhs and tcs follows with 7.2 lakhs and if you're new here i'm pradeep mochurla based in ireland i'm working as a senior product manager with over 10 years of experience in the corporate world i've worked with companies like google amazon apple ibm mastercard and some innovative startups too i make videos on careers and finance topics and if these interest you please subscribe to my channel but it's not just about the basic salary one of my friends colleague joined hcl last year and got a nice 25000 joining bonus tcs and infosys didn't offer that so these little extras can make a big difference especially when you're just starting out and of course money isn't everything you might wonder what about the work environment tcs is known for being quite professional and a bit formal too it's the kind of place where you might think twice before cracking a joke in a meeting on the other hand infosys tries to mix being professional with a more modern feel and then there's hcl which is famous for saying employees first and customer second this one really surprised me when i heard this for the first time i really wondered if this is true given every company tries to prioritize customers over employees but i commend hcl's bold stance with the state now let's talk about something that's become a hot topic these days which is work from home remember when tcs announced their 2025 model during covid they said by 2025 only 25% of their employees would need to work from office Unfortunately that plan didn't go through as expected and actually TCS recently asked employees to come back to office 5 days a week they've even said it might affect appraisals if people don't show up so that work from home dream is pretty much gone for most TCS employees Infosys and HCL are also pushing for more office time but seems they are a bit flexible especially HCL some teams still get to work from home once or twice a week but overall these big it companies are really keen on getting people back to the office now hcl even has a few fully remote roles open at the moment although it's a bit disappointing as many of us got used to work from home during covid but it looks like most it companies including these big 3 are going back to the old way of working from office and if you're looking for a job right now you might be interested in this as of early 2024 TCS has about 40,000 open positions and Infosys has about 30,000 and HCL nearly 20,000. That's a lot of opportunities. And here's something exciting, on-site opportunities. The chance to work abroad. TCS is known for sending lots of people on-site. In fact, they sent over 10,000 employees on international assignments just last year. Infosys and HCL also offer good on-site chances, especially if you're working on global projects. You might get an on-site opportunity in the US or Europe with these tech giants. Now let's talk about Infosys for a bit. They have a program called Green Buddy program. When you join Infosys, they pair you up with an experienced employee who becomes your guide. They help you figure out company rules, choose the right training and even lend an ear if you are feeling lost in this huge corporate world. Now let's also talk about something really important, learning new skills. Upskilling is most important in today's AI world. If you're not learning, you're falling behind. TCS has a 3 month training program for new joiners and Infosys goes even further with a 23 week program at their large Mysore training center. Now HCL has this great program called Tech B where students can start earning while they're still in college. And an interesting fact, Infosys spent a huge 2570 crore which is 310 million dollars on training employees in 2022 alone. And that's a lot of money. It shows they're serious about keeping their employees up to date with the latest tech. But what about job security? That's a big worry for many of us these days. TCS is well known for its no firing policy. Even during the tough times in 2020 when many companies were letting people go, TCS didn't fire anyone. However, we need to take this with a pinch of salt as it's not 100% practical all the time. 
In fact, TCS had to lay off some of their staff recently this year due to major restructuring. And Infosys and HCL don't have clear policies like this, but we can look at how many people leave these companies voluntarily. In 2022, about 27 out of every 100 people left Infosys, while for HCL, it was 30 out of 100. Despite the recent layoffs, TCS generally has a low attrition rate and is less likely to have large-scale layoffs compared to Infosys and HCL. Now let's also see what employees are saying about these companies on Glassdoor. I've picked some interesting reviews to give you an idea of what it's really like to work here. Let's start with TCS. Talking about the pros, one employee says good work-life balance and job security. And another one mentions lots of opportunities to learn new technologies. Coming to the cons, some people complain about slow career growth and one review says promotions take a long time. And another common issue is sometimes the work can get monotonous. Now let's move on to Infosys. Talking about the pros, many employees love the training. One says excellent training programs, especially for freshers. And another employee point is good brand value in the market, which is obvious. Now talking about the cons, some feel the work pressure is high. One employee wrote, work-life balance can be challenging during projects and another complaint is about salary. One employee mentions pay is less compared to other IT chains. Finally, let's look at HCL. Looking at the pros, employees appreciate the culture. One review says employee-friendly policies and good work environment. And another plus point is lots of chances to work on cutting-edge technologies. Talking about cons, some people mention issues with management and employee wrote, middle management can be a bit unorganized. Another common feedback is salary hikes are not very impressive. Now remember, these are just a few opinions out of thousands of reviews and every person's experience can be different but it's always good to hear what people on the inside are saying. If you know someone already working at these companies, it's always good to check with them personally to get a first-hand review from them. So which company should you choose? If you want job security and a steady career path, TCS might be your best choice. Or if you're excited about learning new things and working in the latest tech, Infosys could be great for you. Or if you want slightly higher pay and a company that really focuses on its employees, HCL might be a good fit. But remember, your experience can be very different depending on your team, your project, and even where you're working. It's also a good idea to talk to people who actually work at these companies before you decide. After all, they know best what it's really like to work there. And I'd love to know which company would you choose and why. Tell me in the comment section below. And if you like this video, please leave a like and subscribe to my channel for more interesting content and see you in the next one.